Hi guys, in this video we're going to test um, React component using the get by row um, function that is provided to us by React testing library. Right, so um, let's have as another test. Right, so let's say should uh, show an element with a row uh, attribute so a simple uh, test so obviously we have to render the function again uh, the component sorry because each each test ingest is separated from each other so this is not the same as this right there are other ways that you can link both of them we'll take a look at that in future videos right so we have so we've rendered the components now we'll go we'll grab the particular row that we are looking for using the get by row what function so get by row so this specifically means that we are trying to get a particular element uh, using its row attribute right and by default almost every single tag that is in HTML has a specific row assigned to it in this case we are going to test this image right so this image has a row of what image just the IMG right so we have row and VS Code is so great to us that it gives you all the various what options uh, that can be passed toward the function to get the different types of what rules that you can make use of, right? So all these are the various rules that can be what as uh, assessed in uh, what in uh, just or in the test, right? So uh, there are quite a lot of them. We will, pro we will never, we will not go to all of them. Just a few of them, and maybe as time goes on in the future videos, we'll take a look at how to incorporate this in more complicated what scenarios. But in this case, we are just going to be making use of what the IMG, right? So the row uh, of the image is what an image, right? And usually, what I would do is instead of creating a variable and placing it uh, instead of placing this element inside a variable i simply just write an assertion for it so using the expect then bring in what uh assertion then to be in the document which is not so straightforward but it's quite simple as long as you know what it's all about right so we expect that this uh, a row is supposed to be a row. So we expect an element with a row of image to be in the document, right? Now this can be used as an alternative to the alt text. In this, in cases where there is no alt text or you don't know what the alt text is, you can make use of what the row get by row what function. So as you can see, our function, uh, the row is what working. It's actually detecting that there is an element in there. And this can be used. So let's see if we can find other um, ro uh, elements using the row. So link. Let's see if there's any link in here. So for the link, is most definitely supposed to be this right yes so we know that what there is a link in what the component and the assertion actually does verify that but there are other ways to but there are more specific ways that you can go about it and that's using the second parameter of the get by rules so the second parameter is takes an object with the various what properties that you can make the uh, uh, you can actually specify the particular uh, uh, component or elements that you are looking for 
so in this case we know that we have we there is a link but we want the link to have what or its content to be what the learn react right so in this case this is what we are looking for learn react so the name uh, let's bring it let me write this down and explain it right so what is happening here is this we know that there is a link in the in the what the component or on the page but it has a specific what name to it or its content uh, is what learn react right which is in this case is this so we know that there is a link and its name or its content is what learn react so obviously there could be other links in the page uh, with whatever let's say in this case is whatever so if we had used just the no uh, link without specifying the learn react so let's take a look at that so i can as you can see so just using what the link this is what um, just tells us so the test failed not because it didn't find a link but it found two links right it will even tell you over here so it found what two links that exist in what your component right but we want to test only one particular what link and uh, that has what the content mean what learn react so we bring back the learn react um sorry send brackets over here so we save that and go back to our test and you can see that now it's passing because it found what a link with what the name being what learn react there are various other what options that you can up, uh, add to be more specific on a particular element that you're looking for so if the link is what checked or is it has exact property or is hidden many others right many others so we will take a look at them as time goes on so that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one